Pleasure to speak to you, sir. Nice to speak to you. So, yeah, I, I mean, it's the obvious question, really. How but was it working with Angelina? No, no, that's not the obvious question. The obvious question is it's children's classics at, at Sleeping Beauty. Yeah. So, did you did it have any impact on the way you performed? Because obviously your character isn't in the original. Well, no, it, well, I mean, the, the Raven is, but he's not as developed as he is in this one. Um, I mean, I rewatched the original, but which stands up amazingly well, it's, considering it's, what, 1959 or something that they made it. Um, but, you know, it's, it's a new retelling, or whatever you want to call it, and the script was so fantastic that, you know, we sort of used that and... Because obviously a lot of your background's been in these great indie films. How is it joining the Disney monolith? <laughs> uh, it was interesting. It was very different. We got a bigger trailer with a telly in it. Um, it was exciting, you know. I, I've no, you know, I've never, I've never been offered a movie like this before, and the opportunity to work with Angelina and, you know, it's a cool part as well. I thought. So I mean, I was really, I was surprised when I got the part. Don't get me wrong, but I was, I was game. And you seem to be one of the few people in the cast who's even close to your own accent in the film. Yeah, but I mean, they're good though, aren't they? She's really, Elle and, uh, and uh, Angelina. And were they asking for any tips? <laughs> Not with my voice, no. <laughs> no. They didn't, no, they didn't need any. I don't know whether they were watching a lot of the BBC while they were here or something, but they were, they were spot on. Marvellous. Thank you very much, Sam. Congratulations, mate.